we think we, there's a reasonable chance the Supreme Court could strike down Obamacare in this uh, in June with the King versus Burwell. We're one of the non-state um, uh, exchanges, meaning we're a federal exchange. That means in Wisconsin, uh, Obamacare could be effectively struck down. So um, again, since Ways and Means is in charge of this as well, we're we're coming up with a contingency plan for states such as ours. Um, so that the people who would lose their exchange subsidies would have an alternative system to go to. And that's something that we're working on as a contingency plan to have in place uh, should that possibility occur. Um, Can you say anything about what that might look like? Uh, when I'm done writing it, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm negotiating it right now with other uh, people in Congress so that we have a unified position. And um, I'm hoping by the end of the week I'll have that done. Uh, I've got about three more meetings with my Senate, our Senate counterparts on this this week. So I'm hoping I'll probably, hopefully by March 4 is when oral arguments occur, we'll have something out by then. Isn't it, uh, I just read this, this uh, story by Box online last uh, Friday, and it talks about all the, all the Republican criticisms and basically dispelled most of them, including... On what? Uh, Talking about health care? Right, Obamacare. And uh, you know, dispelled most of the criticism, including that uh, uh, you know that the costs are going to skyrocket. Well, Ezra has always been a big shill for the law. That's the guy who owns Vox. Um, uh, I've disagreed with Ezra over the years on a lot of these things. Um, what Obamacare is basically doing is it's denying a marketplace from really occurring by denying people the ability to choose the kind of healthcare plans they want. It's making people buy coverage they don't need or want. It's raising the cost of coverage, and then it's just subsidizing that cost with taxpayer money for some people. So it's needlessly raising the price of health insurance. It's then taking ta borrowed taxpayer money and subsidizing that for some people, but not for everybody. And then it's taking over $700 billion from Medicare with price controls on Medicare to uh, pay for Obamacare, and even with that, it's not paid for. So I see it as a long-term fiscal train wreck. I see it as doing a lot to compromise Medicare and to lead to price controls to Medicare that are gonna make it very difficult for some providers to stay in business on Medicare. And as we know from this area, what happens is our providers, just go to Mercy and Dean and you know, have them walk you through it. Um, I was out at Cedar Crest touring that about two weeks ago. You know, you can have them walk you through the way this works. They lose money on the government programs and then make up for it by overcharging the private sector. And th there's only so much of that that they can do. And Obamacare facilitates that trend in a very dangerous and very bad way. And so I do believe that you've had price controls that have worked to, to suppress costs for some time, but the system can't withstand it much longer because it's gonna lead to more cross subsidization um, the bank, the actuaries that CMS tell us it's going to lead to bankruptcies in the provider area. But more importantly, we're needlessly raising the price of care, uh, of, of coverage. And, and, and for the people who don't get subsidized, they just have huge price increases, big premium hikes. And for the ones who do, it's a huge tax for transfer, a, a taxpayer transfer that, that is ultimately unaffordable. When I think we could have done something much better, which I'll show that, uh, where we could get universal coverage with lower prices in a more competitive marketplace. So I really do think Obamacare is so fundamentally flawed that it's gonna eventually collapse under its own weight. We'll see whether or not the Supreme Court says that it was written uh, in a way that, that is unconstitutional um, for, for, the, for the federal exchanges. Nevertheless, uh, I think we, as the alternative party, owe the country what a better system looks like, and that's what I intend on doing.